Are you tired of all the fake FPS guides that don't actually work in Counter-Strike 2? In this video, I'm going to show you the only real FPS guide that actually works for CS2 to boost your FPS, fix stutters, unlock full CPU power, and get the smoothest gameplay, even on a low-end PC. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Set up a tool to watch your CPU while playing CS2. To help your CPU work better during gaming, we will first set up a built-in Windows tool. This tool lets you see how your system is performing while you play. Start by clicking the Windows search bar at the bottom of your screen. Type Performance and then click on Performance Monitor from the list. When the Performance Monitor opens, look at the left-hand side. You'll see a section called Data Collector Sets. Click the small arrow next to it to open the options. Now click on User Defined. Inside that, right-click and select New. Then click on Data Collector Set. A new window will open and ask for a name. Type in CPU Boost as the name. Choose the option Create Manually, Advanced, and click Next. On the next screen, tick the box called Performance Counter, then click Next again. Now click the Add button. A new box will pop up. From the list of categories, scroll down and find Processor. Click on it. Then select the highest number, like 7 if the list goes from 0 to 7. Click Next, then click Finish to complete the setup. Now you'll see a new item named CPU Boost, and it will say Stopped. Right-click on CPU Boost and click Start. This will begin tracking how your CPU works while you play CS2. Step 2. Unlock all CPU cores to boost CS2 performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll make sure your CPU uses all of its cores to give the best performance while playing CS2. We'll use a tool called Park Control for this. First, download and install Park Control on your computer, then open the program. In Park Control, choose the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This makes sure your CPU runs at its full speed. Now change the following settings. Parking AC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Parking DC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Frequency Scaling AC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Frequency Scaling DC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Next, find a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is turned on. This setting turns off unused CPU threads when doing light tasks, but turns them back on during gaming for better power. Now go to Windows Power Options and choose Bitsum Highest Performance as the active power plan. Make sure both CPU parking and frequency scaling are set to 100% for both AC, plugged in, and DC on battery. Click. Make active, then click Apply to save all settings. This will help your CPU run at its best when you play CS2 or any other heavy game. Step 3. Free up RAM, using ISLC for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make better use of your RAM, we will use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This tool clears unused memory and gives more RAM to CS2. First, open ISLC. At the top, it will show your total memory in MB. Find the box labeled Free Memory is Lower Than and enter half of your total RAM. For example, if your RAM is 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. If your RAM is 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. Next, tick these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. This will make it run in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon. This starts the program automatically. Now on the right, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Then set polling rate to 1,000. If your PC is very slow, try 1,000 instead. Click Stop, then Start, and then click Purge Standby List. This will clear unused memory and help CS2 run much smoother. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. 
finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Turn off telemetry for better privacy and CS2 performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Windows has a background feature called telemetry that collects usage data and slows your system down. To turn it off and speed up your PC, download a tool called ONO ShutUp 10. After downloading, open the tool. Click on Apply Only Recommended Settings to safely disable unneeded features. If the tool asks you to make a system restore point, you can skip that, especially if you've already created one. Some small features like clipboard history or storage sense might stop working after disabling telemetry. If anything breaks or behaves differently, you can click Undo All Changes to go back. When you're happy with the settings, tick the box that says Do Not Show This Message Again and click OK. This will stop extra background tasks and make CS2 run better and faster. Step 5. Use MSI Afterburner to make your GPU run better in CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Next, we'll use a program called MSI Afterburner to improve your graphics card's performance. Go to your Optimization Tools folder and install MSI Afterburner. Once installed, open the app. You'll see several sliders for GPU settings. First, raise power limit and temperature limit to their maximum. Do not touch core voltage. Leave that alone. Now slowly increase the memory clock by small steps of 20. For example, start at 0, then try 20, then 40, and so on. Each time you increase it, test CS2 to make sure it's running fine. Once you find a stable setting that works well, click Apply to save it. This tweak helps your GPU run smoother and boosts FPS in CS2. Step 6. Disable HPET to stop stuttering and FPS drops in CS2. There's a Windows feature called HPET, High Precision Event Timer, that sometimes causes FPS drops and stuttering. To turn it off, right-click on the Start button and open Device Manager. Scroll down and click System Devices to expand it. Look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET, in the list. Right-click on HPET and select Disable. Disabling HPET can reduce lag and make CS2 feel smoother by avoiding timing issues in the background. If this CS2 optimization guide helped you boost FPS and fix lag, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more easy optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.